everyone, Joel Hans here, and today we are downtown Vancouver. We are right on the corner of Granville and Georgia. So you can't get much more downtown than this. And today, why I am here is to have some very authentic, that is right, authentic Japanese katsu sandwiches. So here we are, Tokyo, katsu sand, here. So it's like a little food truck, a little food trailer. That being said, they're open seven days a week. They're gonna stay open through the winter, guys. And these guys have some crazy, crazy looking sandwiches. They have some awesome looking beef katsu, some chicken katsu, some pork katsu, and then the shrimp katsu as well. So let's get some authentic katsu sandwiches, guys. I can't wait to try this out. This is my first time having a real authentic Japanese katsu. Uh, super excited. We're trying new foods, guys, all around the world. Here we are, Vancouver. So let's have some fun. Let's get some sandwiches. We'll give it a go. Everyone, so we just picked up the foods from Tokyo Katsu Sand. So, so excited. This looks absolutely delicious. Um, we just picked them up. So we're gonna try all these things. Here, my good friend, Mr. Scott, of course. So check this out, y'all. Look at these beautiful freaking sandwiches. Like they fried the beef perfectly. So it's like a beautiful, probably like rare, medium rare in there. Of course, we got the Japanese um, milk bread as well. Um, I also got a shrimp katsu. We also have chicken, which looks absolutely delectable, so juicy looking. And then we have a beautiful pork katsu, which is huge, absolutely massive. So I'm so excited to dig into these. Let's try them all out. Um, mostly they have the tonkatsu sauce on them, and then the beef has the wasabi mayonnaise, whereas the other ones have the tonkatsu sauce with the cabbage, and then a Japanese spicy mayo. So super excited, it's gonna be really good, dude. So eat some food. Yes. It smells so good. Oh. We're like, we're like, got in the car and we're like, been waiting for this. Yeah, like, oh. we're, we're ready. Beautiful katsu, Japanese milk bread, like I said, wasabi mayo, tongue katsu sauce. Cheers, Cheers, Scott. Let's give her a try. Oh my God. Dude, soft as butter. Mm hmm. All right. That's meat? Come on. Wow. Like, I'm gonna show you a little pressure it is for me to like bite this. I'll try to exemplify this. Dude, like that just pulled apart. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Super soft, super tender. Mm -hmm. Flavor is great. Great beefy texture. You get that nice katsu, that kind of like tempura, that kind of breading. The wasabi mayonnaise is really yeah. nice flavor. Tonkatsu uh, sauce giving just a nice bit of sweetness. Dude, that's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a big fan. Very impressed. Yeah, Very. That was exceptional. Then we have the shrimp katsu. Again, this looks like delicious shrimp. We have some cabbage. They put a uh, like a house-made tartar sauce on it. They make all their sauces there as well, which is super impressive with the tonkatsu sauce. So I'm excited, dude. This one looks really well. Yeah. This one looks a little messier though, so I'm gonna try not to make a mess, but give her a go. Mmm. Oh, dude. Mm. Oh, wow. That is really good. Dude, that flavor. Holy cow. Mm. Oh. Making a mess. But that tartar sauce almost reminds me of like a potato salad. That cabbage is great. Great texture. Good, almost like a little bit of a peppery heat taste to it. Mm. That's got a little tanginess there, right? Dude, that's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. This, like, that's exceptional. And this is basically their menu. They got the pork, the chicken, the shrimp, and the beef. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yes, would recommend. Here we got the pork katsu. Again, perfectly cooked. Beautiful, nice layer of cabbage on there. Spicy uh, mayonnaise as well. Um, dude, hell right. These are phenomenal. Oh, so. yeah. Cheers to that one. Cheers. Big, big, big bite. Too. I know. I was going to say, that's all meat there. It's like, yeah. Try not to make a mess. Nice ratio. Dude, so soft. Mm. I'm really impressed how soft all these meats are. So soft, so juicy. Great flavor on that pork. I have no complaints. What do you think, dude? Oh, it's beautiful. I just love how much meat there is on this. Mm. And yeah, it is very tender. Great portions. Yes. And I think what I was most impressed about 
and you were like curious about it, you're like dude you were back so quickly like mm -hmm. it was super quick mm -hmm. everything they did they pumped out in like 10 seconds so beautiful mm. Mm. That's, i love this it's like a beautifully like bread it like pork chop kind of that's right yeah, yeah. Mm. that's phenomenal so good and last but not least we have the chicken so this one is just dripping juice it is so succulent when you cut it looks phenomenal and we got that cabbage we got the beautiful uh spicy mayonnaise and a beautiful looking piece of chicken next filet as well yeah cheers, cheers. that one mm. again great flavor Love those mayonnaise, love the cabbage on it, great textures. Nicely breaded with a little tangy sauce on it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Nice and crunchy, nice textures in there. Yeah, and crispy, delicious, warm. Man. I'm impressed. Mm hmm. All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that quick video today. Definitely want to try some authentic Japanese katsu sandwiches. And I will say the katsu, katsu, however you want to pronounce it, was exceptional, dude. That beef, fire. Oh, yeah. Love that with flavors on it. Uh, the chicken, exceptional. The pork, exceptional. That shrimp, honestly, yeah. that, that surprised me the most. The, like, kind of tartar sauce, egg salad thing they got going on it. Just beautiful flavors. So... I have no complaints, man. No, no. What was your what, which one was your favorite? I think it was the shrimp one. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice and soft and tender. It had lots of texture. It had that egg salad uh, tanginess in yeah. there. It was just all around. That one yeah. definitely like I said, surprised me the yeah. the most. I think one of the beef one, because the beef one is like is exceptional. Yeah. What a nice flagship. So that everybody, till next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're ever in downtown Vancouver, definitely go check it out. Love the food, great place, great people. That's about it. So uh at that it's getting a little dark out, but that was delicious. So we're going to enjoy the rest of the evening, and I hope you have a lovely day. So, till next time, everybody. Vancouver. The beautiful Vancouver. In 500 meters, keep right to stay on British Columbia 99 North. Follow signs for Nanaimo and Gibson's Whistler. Nanaimo. Alright, we'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, legit. I've never been out there. It'd be pretty cool. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day